Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Thank you very much, Professor Zabta. So, Honorable uh, Awasaki, Consul General Embassy of Japan, who will be with us uh, uh, in the uh, technical session, perhaps the second technical session of today's event. Professor Dr. Khaled Mamusab, who is today the chief guest uh, of the event, the president of the Pakistan Academy of Sciences, Professor Zabta Khan Shanwari, who is uh, President MAP and Professor Emeritus at Kadeh University, dear fellows of MAP, Professor uh, uh, Amrik Ram Saab, who will be with us uh, soon today, Dr. Uh, Muhammad uh, Mukhtar Saab, who is uh, VC National Skills University Islamabad, who will be the moderator in any one of the two sessions uh, today. Fellows and members of the past, distinguished guests, fellows of my eminent foreign and local speakers, participants, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum, and a very good morning. It is indeed a great pleasure and honor for me to welcome all of you who are either present over here in this. Uh, event uh, through both modes, either the physically or virtually over here. And uh, for me, it is great privilege to welcome you to this event, uh, gathering uh, of academicians, scientists, medical specialists, technologists, bioethics uh, analysts, biosafety policy scientists, and many others, including postgraduate students and researchers to the hybrid workshop, which is titled Ecosystem Restoration, One Health and Pandemics being held today at the auditorium of the Pakistan Academy of Sciences. Dear audience, today's hybrid workshop is being organized at Pakistan Academy of Sciences, and I am very grateful uh, to Pakistan Academy of Sciences, uh, especially the president of Pakistan Academy of Sciences, who, who is always with us in organizing all these uh, encouraging activities for that uh, uh, on behalf of uh, all the organizers of this uh, event, I would like to thank sir for supporting us uh, in the best way that uh, we are enjoying today. Secondly, today's uh, hybrid workshop is celebrated with uh, participation from over 143 countries annually in order to create awareness and to devise actions for protection of the environment. 2022 World Environment Day is being celebrated under the theme, Only One Earth, One Health is in fact an approach that calls for the collaborative efforts of multiple disciplines working locally, nationally, and globally to maintain optimal health for the living beings, including people, animals, and plants, and our environment. The topic of today's event is indeed of great concern and importance for all of us who have been recently faced the world wide pandemic of COVID-19 and also for all biosafety and health related scientists, researchers, medical specialists, technologists, and postgraduate students, especially the researchers who are developing innovative vaccines, medicines, and technologies to men, menance pandemics around the global for the safety of the mankind. So I take this opportunity to thank Pakistan Academy of Sciences, MAP, and uh, ANSO for the supporting this important event for the benefit of the researchers, not only in Pakistan, but globally too. And uh, you would like to see that uh, the researchers across the globe, also from Pakistan through interaction uh, under this platform, I am quite confident that this workshop will be beneficial for all of us uh, and uh, it would provide the opportunities to interact with each other, not only for two days, uh, but uh, also would like to develop collaboration uh, in a long way. Uh, for this, I certainly wish to congratulate the contributions of Professor Dr. Zabta Khan Shanwari, who is the central 
pillar in organizing uh, uh, this uh, workshop without uh, his uh, input uh, and especially the idea. Perhaps we were unable to see each other over here. And thank you very much, sir, for bringing us uh, under the umbrella that we are enjoying uh, in the auditorium of Pakistan Academy of Sciences through certain informations that perhaps we are not aware before it. So dear audience, uh, the theme of the, this uh, hybrid workshop may be realized from the fact that over 100 postgraduate students and researchers have registered for physical participation while over 300 researchers across the globe have registered to attend the event online. Not only that, the resource per persons and lectures in this workshop would be very useful and very will be presented by the very well experienced personalities who will cover the topic uh, on the title biorisk management related topics, healthcare, the regulatory authorities in Pakistan and abroad. Therefore, my very special thanks are due to all participants, resource persons, and lectures of this hybrid workshop for this very active interest, as well as for their physical or virtual participation in this event. At this occasion, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce a little bit about the Pakistan Academy of Sciences. Pakistan Academy of Sciences was established in uh, 1953, soon after the independence of Pakistan. Over the past uh, 68 years, at present, we have uh, 83 eminent scientists in the form of the fellows, 33 uh, foreign fellows who are uh, leading productive scientists in various fields across the globe, 23 young scientists, I mean to say that the scientists associated to competition and have been, they have been selected uh, with uh, tough competition. We have 23, especially the young scientists associated with the Pakistan Academy of Sciences in various fields uh, of the science, uh, especially the pure and applied sciences. And along with that, uh, these all uh, foreign fellows, uh, national fellows and the members of the Pakistan Academy of Sciences are acting as a pool of the highest scientific talent in the country. So what are the main objectives of the academy? I would not like to mention all, but a few of these uh, may include to promote uh, higher studies and research uh, in pure and applied sciences uh, in Pakistan, to provide a platform uh, of the researchers for the intersection of the ideas in organizing the conferences, seminars and workshops and supporting such events uh, up to the best uh, way through not only academic sport, but also the financial sport. And third, uh, to facilitate a forum for dissemination and exchange of scientific knowledge through conduct uh, on uh, workshops on different uh, topics, uh, especially in pure and applied sciences. So some of the CRIPS uh, achievements uh, after the establishment of the Pakistan Academy of Sciences are as follows. The Federal Higher Education Commission, HEC, is the main uh, body who is uh, supporting uh, Pakistan Academy of Sciences financially. And Pakistan Academy of Sciences is uh, accredited by the Ministry of uh, Education. The, to date, the Pakistan Academy of Sciences has signed with the 20 academies across the world. Over the past few years, the academy has established several laboratories, including National Center for Physics, uh, uh, laboratories in nanosciences, uh, microbial sciences, uh, and uh, most important, uh, the huge uh, center of excellence, which is uh, under the way and going to be established at the Kadi Azam University under the title China Park, China Park Giant Research Center of Earth Sciences in Pakistan under the Road and uh, Belt Initiative. The Academy has established uh, a scientific advice uh, uh, policy unit this uh, unit is providing uh, basically the advice uh, to the government institutions uh, in various sectors. The Academy is publishing two flagship journals. Uh, one journal is uh, covers the domain of physical and computation sciences and we are calling uh, Series A and Series B include uh, topics uh, for the life and uh, environmental sciences. 
in the year 2020 the planning commission of pakistan has granted a project uh, worth uh, park uh, rupees uh, 810 million to the pakistan academy of sciences for its upgradation and capacity building their audience uh, i am indeed very delighted to mention that excellency awasaki who is a consul general embassy of japan islamabad will be with us uh, in the second technical session of this workshop and who will uh, like to speak uh, after the second technical session and uh, i am hopeful that uh, he would like to close the ceremony uh, close the this event in this regard uh, the past map and anso are extremely grateful to the consul general embassy of japan islamabad for sparing time from his very busy schedule to grace the occasion and to provide us with the valued remarks about the theme of one health and pandemics ladies and gentlemen finally i am very grateful and appreciate uh, the efforts of the organizing team of the officers and staff of the pakistan academy of sciences for their hectic and uh, work to organize this event at the academy i am also grateful to the chief guest professor Dr. Khalid Mahmood Khan, who is president of the Pakistan Academy of Sciences, to accept our invitation and for sparing time out of his very busy schedule to inaugurate this event online. I am also grateful to the chief uh, organizer, namely Professor Zabta Khan Shinwari, for all help who he, he has given us uh, in uh, not only in collecting the money but also in uh, organizing it uh, in a very nice way and uh, no doubt in it that he is very prompt dynamic and dedicated uh, about the event uh, about which uh, always we are lagging behind him i hope that uh, through your participation and the resource persons of the workshop we will have a very happy interactive and fruitful day at the academy and you will benefit from the technical sessions not only today but uh, i am quite confident that long term association and research cooperation can be developed because uh, several eminent scientists are going to speak uh, in this workshop and uh, that workshop will not uh, cover only the theme uh, that we are going to listen and uh, go back to our homes for today but uh, the real theme of the this workshop is to interact and to collaborate with the senior Pakistani scientist uh, and also the scientist from the globe to develop permanent cooperation so that uh, our young generation, especially for the futures, may be benefited from this activity. And uh, along with that, sir, I thank you all for very kind attention and may Allah bless you. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.